Good morning, everybody. What's going on? I went ahead and I ordered the new make of the Camillus Lever Lock. I had a few things happen and I had a few extra bucks, so I went ahead and took care of that so that I could compare them side by side. And I was pretty thoroughly surprised, especially for $20.95 on Amazon Prime. It was uh, a bit more than I expected to get at that price point. I'm still adjusting to the fact that better knives are available cheaper than they used to be. And of course, we remember the old one, this guy right here with the uh, plastic handles, uh, all that mess. It's It's been a good knife, I love this guy. But, we have the new one, and there we are. You can see the texturing on a much thicker handle. Um... Yeah, it's a good bit thicker, but this is G10, and this is the first uh, G10 that I've had on a knife so far because it's been a while since I really bought anything. Um, now first things first, they actually changed the first thing that I said I would change if I could. We have a nice deep carry clip, and I'm having to try to get the, the light on it just right. There we are. You get a nice clean profile and that thing does clip in nicely you got to be a little careful putting it in your pocket so that this doesn't hang up on the way in but pulling it up like this lets this slide out much more easily i thought about flipping it over so i could carry it point down and pull it and already have it in the position but pulling it up like this is going to make this lever snag on stuff so i may just leave it as it sits now the other thing to note is this action is way faster and smoother than the old one. Way better. This is even better than my first lever lock when I had it good and broken in after really putting it through its paces. This is slicker than two buttered ninjas. And uh, let's see if we can get... Okay, so there's... There's the two blades side by side, and I know it's kind of hard to see all at once because this is black and non-reflective. But you can see there that that's the grind you have on that, and this one has a bit more complex of a grind. This is pretty much a flat grind. This one I can feel a very, very shallow hollow grind on it. And, uh... I've had this since, uh, I believe, Saturday night, or I may have gotten it during the, no, I got it Sunday morning, so it's, it hasn't, it's been about 24 hours now, so I haven't really, uh, you know, I had time to really beat on it, but it does mean we can do an out-of-the-box sharpness test on it, because I have cut the shrink wrap off a Tylenol bottle and one piece of tape off of my loot crate, and that's been it so far, so... Let's see what this does out the box. That's not bad. There's a little bit of tear going on. But you can see, it is actually getting in there and cutting stuff apart. Um, seeing, yeah, there we are. The camera can show a little fuzziness along that cut, so it's not, you know, 100% perfect, but it's pretty good and sharp out of the box. Definitely more than acceptable, and this feels like it's got... Uh, a bit finer of an edge than this one had uh, coming out of the box and that could be because we've got basically the bevel goes all the way up to here um, and it's a good bit closer to the spine than this bevel right here so we have a finer edge and a better angle for the cut 
And the blade on this is AUS-8, and it's got the titanium nitride coating on it. It'll be interesting seeing how well that holds up. You know, I'm used to cheaper, cut, cheaper coatings that wear off almost immediately. They're either paint or they're a surface treatment, and of course surface treatments don't go that far into the surface, so they don't last too long. That's part of why I've got a really crusty, uh, I won't say crusty, but it's a Tack Force a Rainbow Dragon Knife that I got simply because it was a Rainbow Dragon Knife. Um, because if this and the CRKT Dactyl weren't a dead giveaway, I am a sucker for a good gimmick. And we actually have a couple of gimmick knives that I bought for no other reason than they're a complete gimmick. One of them, we'll probably get to that by the end of next week, depending on when I get bored, is no longer available on Amazon in that configuration. I'm not 100% sure why, but it may be available elsewhere. But that's for another day. We are focusing on this guy. And like I said, silky smooth. And I will read uh, some stuff off the back of the box, which that's the packaging it came in. Um, I just grabbed a pair of scissors and zipped along this because I didn't know whether or not there was going to be a sheath as it was like this thick. No, there's no sheath. You just get the knife and some paperwork that I dropped somewhere probably in the kitchen and didn't bring in there. But actually there's nothing I haven't already covered in here. That's okay. Um, it does come with a lifetime warranty which I believe is similar to most other ones. If something gives out on it that you can blame the factory on, you can send it back and they'll either replace it or repair it, which is good. But this comes to the ultimate question, is this worth the $21? Absolutely. This is definitely worth the $21. It would have been worth the $40 the old one cost just to get something that performs this much better than the old one. Um, I do like the uh, the all black look. Um, I, I like to imagine that this is the knife that a ninja would break out for a party trick and go, hey guys, check this out. Yeah. So I will share the link for this again so that if you are, if you suddenly become interested, you can go ahead and order one. The G10 handles feel nice. This has got beveling right here on uh, both sides of the uh, the scales so that you can grab on. And for me, that's a three finger grip. The fourth one can help, but bearing down hard on this get, can be a little uncomfortable. But, you know, it it can fill a large hand up reasonably well. But... This is probably going to be how it's used most for anything kind of heavy, but of course there's a limit to how heavy you want to put a folding knife through its paces unless it's an absolute emergency. Simply because the part that moves is the part that breaks. So, with that, I will let y'all get back on about your business. Mr. Ben Toombs, I am so sorry that this got here so much faster than yours did, but I have thoughts and feelings about this and I am very, very pleased with it. I know, I know not waiting until you got yours and doing this at the exact same time as you were looking at yours is a bit worse of a betrayal than the last time you were in the free candy van, but it had to be done. So uh, with that, praise the forge and pass the borax. Y'all stay safe in your shops. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good one.